It's the end of the world as we know it. Eclipse day. Chat cam, please. Good morning, everybody. Morning, How Ash. you doing today? Morning, morning. <laughs> hey, who's ready for a blackout? Oh, we're going to get like an 80% blackout, so I guess it's going to be a gray out. Corey Ash. Supposedly. Happy Supposedly. Monday, I guess. I don't know. The doomsday sayers are out there in force. Will it do it and Betty Daunt? Good morning. It's morning. Monday. Hey, uh, I actually did some productive productiveness this weekend. My wife kind of left me alone. I was able Corey to, Ash. to do a little what bit. What's the plan for the unveiling of the new intro? Uh, I don't know. As Michael soon as I get it, it'll LOL, just happen. I'll hook up with it sprinkling, so I am <laughs> waiting for it to clear up, hopefully. As soon as I get it, Corey, it'll just kind of happen. Um, man, your, your burrow block was nothing but fight for me this, this weekend, man. Um, uh, there was a, uh, a, another massive void in there. It must've been, uh, Corey one Ash. that is just Damn hidden sorry to hear that. in there. I mean, the big one that we, we saw filled for perfectly fine, but there was another one, another one. I had, I went back and I refilled that motherfucker three times this weekend. That means I filled it on Saturday, compressed it, Corey Ash, took it out, Hollywood, LOL, and then filled it again. That's burrow for you, man. That's burrow for you. I think uh, going forward, I might actually use some deep pour. I might warm up, warm up the deep pour before I put it in just a little bit. Maybe one of them, the, either the A or the B, whichever one can take the warming, and use deep pour on burrow. Because that way the bubbles will, will get out a lot quicker and then it'll take an extra day or so and then I can compress it. So I think I can compress deep pour. We need to test that. Corey we Ash. To, we need to test it. Wonder if it would be worth drilling a couple of holes in it too, just a thought. Simply Peach. Morning. Peach? Corey Ash. No holes. Doc's good to see you. Voids. Corey, always. Thank you, man. Um, if I drill holes in it, then you're going to have those holes in there and I don't want I don't want to look at holes. I would prefer to look at uh the burl not the holes that are, were drilled in. Michael Doc Hurdy Fitness. Likewise John. Work top please. So the second pour actually didn't mix well enough. Uh, and I think uh, I think my my Alumilite doesn't like small pours because I did one ounce and I, I mixed the shit out of it. So the hardener got more hardener in there. So I think that might be uh, part of our issue. So the hardener is, is definitely a lot more hardener in there. And then the third pour you can actually see was a little bluer. So you might have some layers in there. But yeah, that that hole, man. Uh, I am not convinced that it's it's actually completely done. So we'll find out once we grind it up and clean it up and get it on there. Of course, you know, by doing the, the deep pour or the, the pours, we had tons of dice. So <clears throat> the, uh, the second pour that I did, because I needed just a little bit of epoxy, I did something I never have done before. I tested out my Bob's epoxy. This is my 30 minute slow cure epoxy, right? So I tested that out and made dice out of it as well. 
So I used it and then threw it in the in the pressure pot. And uh, so far I'm not disappointed. These are our metal dice that we did and they had voids too. So much like the deep pour, the Bob's epoxy likes to stick to the mold. So yeah, uh, this weekend I uh, I did a lot of hand sanding. So VIPs, we need to start thinking of handle material. I have all the VIP knives handled, material ready to go. This coming weekend, I'm going to etch them all. The P knives, they are uh, a little different than a normal knife. I'm even, ha even having something specially made for the VIPs outside of knives. Corey Ash. Oh sweet, more JRK knives for my JRK knives only block. VIP, if you're a, a supporter on Kofi, at the VIP level, you get a knife every year. Every year. Same at the legend level. One perks. Helping making my dream a reality. Uh, it comes with some sweet bennies. Car salesman pitch. Corey Ash. When they're gone, Why they're gone. To help? Limited supply. Because I can only make so many knives a year, right? Should go without saying, but. One of these days, man, I'm going to be uh, never taking another commission ever. Michael Doc Hurdy Fitness. May not be this year. I got the Chef S knife right when you ended your stream last week, John. LOL. Right when I ended it? Nice, dude. Did you post a picture of it in Discord? I think you did. Have you used it yet? So far, I'm glad that I have not had to file insurance claim on any uh, knives that I've mailed out. Kind of wish I wouldn't have uh, spent the money on the insurance since they have all arrived, but glad I've not needed the insurance either, you know? So I combined the metal ones with some epoxy because I just didn't want to fuck with more metal over the weekend. So it might not be the prettiest set of dice, but fuck it. Just going to have to pay a little bit more attention Michael to... Michael Dockerty Fitness. I posted the link but haven't used it yet waiting until I get more chicken breast first and since I only eat 5-3 ounces a day I'll be a little bit. I think we can probably pull Wolf Fairy's dice out. Damon. I did the first meet on the smoker. Nice. What a pity. Damon. What a pity. Corey 
Sorry Ash. What was your first cook on it? I was told chicken thighs are good to juice it up a bit lol. These things are Corey Ash. fucking gorgeous. As a first cook. I mean, I, I, I'm not disappointed with the different color on the one section. Because then that tells you when you failed. Damon. <laughs> I've this rolled a one! Corey but I, I'm not... Gold. Dude, I'm... I like these. These are pretty fucking legit. Gold ass dice, man. Damon. Did a pork loin and a butt for the neighbor. Corey Ash. They are pretty cool. I mean, they did not get. It's not as good as I would like it. The numbers on there. But man, I am not disappointed with them. This looks like the bigger numbers do better, whereas the smaller numbers, not so good. I don't think the numbers are on that. The numbers are too small, so the uh, the rock screwed them up. The one came came out nicely. The nineteen came out okay. All the other ones. Super hard to see. Not horrible. Not horrible. I, I like the gym. I think I like the gyms better. But it's the small numbered ones that are the issue. Maybe if we uh, we suspend the gold in the middle, it would be better off. Not bad, not bad. Kind of cool. Should probably take a picture of it. No, my camera's inside. Some bitch. Corey Ash. Temperance, you have tasso ham. I worked in a restaurant that used a lot of it many years ago, and last year I learned that it's made from curing part of a butt. Damon. Never heard of it. Rockfish. Good morning, folks. Corey Ash. Rockfish. I'm going to start playing with getting good at making Tasso a spicy Cajun type ham. Yeah, dude. What happened? The year is mostly over already. And I haven't taught myself pasta yet. I haven't even tried making pasta yet. Damon. It's not even halfway done. <laughs> the year. Just to disagree with me then, huh? That's okay. All right. Corey Ash. I keep waiting for my wife to give me the okay to buy the KitchenAid pasta attachments. I don't want to always do it by hand. Landlock Newfie. Good morning all heading to work. Have an awesome stream. I got to get sick again so I can stay home not. Damon. So Saturday right, Landlock. I went to Home Depot and some deplorable people were selling puppies out of the back of their car. Wine zing. Hey John, how's it going? Happy New Week early birds. What's up, Wainson? Selling Ash. puppies out of the back OMG. of the car. Were they expensive? I miss you already.
The only problem with that is you don't know if the, the animals got issues or not. They didn't he have a price listed, but they had a phone number. Just don't know if the puppies have genetic issues or not. Damon. Yeah, Florida requires a health certificate to sell animals. I doubt they had one. Mm. waiting for I'm hoping that it's okay this is this is the gem one we've been working on for two weeks rockfish my wife s big Christmas present was a kitchen aid also got her a greater shredder and a grinder got bubbles in it Bubbles in the top. Not horrible though. Wow. I preferred no bubbles. Corey Ash. I haven't he looked at a greater shredder attachment, you she like it? Rockfish. And we found a used pasta attachment two months agone. You actually Damon. have a pasta attachment? I like mine, Corey. But my wife has never used it. She's had it for years. Damon. I use it for cheese often. Rockfish. Let me see if I can find the link. Pasta, at least Corey I have Ash, a, the attachment. We usually use the food processor for shredding, but just swapping out attachments might be easier. She cut herself really bad with the food processor. Not exactly sure what, how in the heck she did that. Damon, I don't have a food processor. Pretty handy. A butt to clean though. Maybe that's how she cut herself. The bear fan. Morning, John. What's up, bear fan? Corey Ash. Temperance hey, doesn't sir. shred softer cheeses too like softer cheddars don't always do well in our food processor. Rockfish. It works really well works for potatoes too. Damon, I haven't he had an issue with mine. Everything I've asked it to shred, it does. What I'm gonna do is I'm not Corey gonna Ash. break the mold on these. That looks good, Rockfish. Thanks. Design and comic. Morning just got back from court. Not really the way I wanted. Camaro. Good Come morning, John S I I N. Rockfish. Up, Carrots, taters, anything we have put through has worked. Just going to clean up the outside of the mold and I think I'm going to go back and try to fill in the bubbles if I can. my goal Willie saying hi first thing in the morning Damon. surprise 
please, I'm you here. One willy. For that wood, got to retake his number one stop, number one spot. Camaro, the sooner eclipse is happening today, but I want to get to see it. Rockfish. I also got one of the springs for it that goes above the mixer attachment it LL help save the planetary gears. Designing comic. Found out there was no way to win at all. First wood of the day. Is this your speeding ticket? Damon. There you go. Will it do it and Betty don't? There you go, Willy. Corey Ash. My second car was a Camaro 1980. Camaro. Tie for the gifted sub. Rockfish. There you go. I Camaro. researched through the reviews. The pasta attachments are so pricey, new for no real reason. Design and comic. Unsafe lane change because I lost control of the car taking a corner. Shields. Mr. John. Luminology. Up, Shields. Greetings all. Willie, my dude. Thank you for that gifted sub, homie. It's starting Monday off right. We need we need a couple more folks to jump in there. Rockfish. The grinder I got also third party is great. I've ground up about a quarter of a pig and an entire deer with it by now. Design and comic. Get in on that I contest. I have to, speed to get a speeding ticket. Corey Ash. Sorry to hear that comic. Shields. I have news for you, John. Good news, actually. Lock a jaws. Good news, Morning, huh? John and chat. All right. I like good news. But no emotional dumping. Corey this is Ash. a no dumping ground. I don't Denise need to hear your bullshit. FYI chat. Corey Ash. Very close. Bullshit sadness. Not on my Monday morning. Don't take a dump. Shields. What you mean bullshit? Emotional dumping. I had to add that to the rules. No sad ass stories. I like happy stories. Corey Ash. Drama dumping. Luminology. Drama Is dumping. Is that our cream delish right. dice? Now these are the Wolf Fairy Gem dice. Michael Doc Hurdy Fitness. The prices are probably up due to inflation of the pandemic a few years ago, Rockfish. But, of course, the last set got bubbles in it. Despite waiting an entire fucking day to put the lid on. Michael Doc Hurdy Fitness. Still got bubbles. Morning Lumen. Rockfish. Probably. Shields. I gave my job my two weeks notice yesterday. I am packing up and moving. Damon. How did the cream delish dice go? Um, I don't think I've opened them yet. I cleaned them up a little bit yesterday, but I haven't opened them up. Rockfish. And the demand for it now that sourdough and homemade bread is super popular. Well, what does your wife think about that there, Shields? Damon. Well, grats, Shield. Shields. Don't have a wife anymore. Rockfish. Where are you moving to? Sorry to hear that. No more. Well, look at it like this. You can you can keep the boat. Shields. Florida got a buddy over there with a security job available for me, so I am taking it. Rockfish. Ah, did she get a two weeks notice too? Shields. Sold the boat. Yeah, now these are the gems. 
Well, we got air bubbles in there. I'm gonna go ahead back and try to fill in the air bubbles. Shield as best I can. Yup, sure is. Damon. LOL, that s one way to put it, rock. Corey Ash. I have a boat to sell. Need to get on that. See if we can Celia do it. Nash. Hello, John. What are you making today? What's up, Celia Nash? Um, we're gonna make some knives today. As soon as we get done with all the resin stuff. Friday. Damon. Yeah. Well, at least you probably are already familiar with crocodiles. American alligators are a lot calmer. Rockfish. Takes longer but better than trying to use a hand grinder. Got all the VIP knives ready to go for handles, so we need to start looking Michael at handle Doc material. Michael Fitness. If it was me, I would have brought the boat with me to Florida, just saying. Rockfish. Alligators are tasty. Damon. Grinder, not knife, lol. Early bird is open. Exclamation point EB. Rockfish. It'll be shutting down Electric here pretty soon. Hand. We have, uh... Corey Ash. Was wondering what a standalone knife might be. Damon. Electric, I'm not wasting my time, hand. Rockfish. I have a hand mill for grinding brewing grains. Corey Ash. 31 minutes in boss. Rockfish. But Check grains are not as tough Always. as meat, lol. I'm a little irritated with the bubbles in there. The last. The la The Damn. top. Got me about bumped. another three minutes for the EB. Michael Doc Hurdy Fitness. Agreed Rockfish 1014 on Gators. I picked up a package for Gator Nuggets from the farmer's market a few years ago. Design and comic. The only good thing that came out of today was that I no longer have the legal shit over my head stopping me from um, everything. Rockfish. Is a standalone knife an automatic one a knife that cuts things on its own? Uh, he's fuck out of Demon. me. Demon. I mean a grinder is basically spinning blades that dice the meat to grind it. Rockfish. That is true. Rockfish. Blades and an auger. Corey Ash. Beats the fuck out of me covers it. Celia Nash. When the resin is still a fluid you can use a torch to get rid of the bubbles. Yeah, I used it. In fact, I didn't actually put the lid on it until a day later. <sighs> Damon. He did, but sometimes they still happen. I did. I did. Alright, let me go get some resin. We're gonna we're gonna use it in the pressure pot this time. Rockfish. <laughs> Anyone know if resin can be put in a microwave for bubble removal? Damon. I have been I awake so. for six hours. I am tired. Hey. Will Why? Will attend Betty Daunt? Here's the uh, bubbles, bubbles, the burl. and troubles. That we were working Michael on. Doc Hurdy Fitness. I had to come back three times. I need someone to use it like a gun. Need someone to use it like people calling guns assault weapons. You have to assault someone with it to make it an assault weapon. LOL. This, this Darkest nights. Hole right here. Warning all. Was deep. It kept com complete. It kept coming up with voids. I'd fill it. Corey and Nash. then I'd pressure pot it. I only got it. about four HRS sleep last night. Oh, this morning has been a struggle. Maybe annoying. making a second round of coffee. Trimmed dice. 
Corey Ash. I hope once it's ground down and sliced, it's okay. Remember, the lish dice turned out nice. I'll be a little yellow. Couple bubbles in there. Let's see how they actually turned out. Michael Doc Hurdy Fitness. John the bird is cooked as it's now 35 minutes in. The five. All right, we'll do it right after this dice here. Will it over ten Betty Don? We made creme de lish Those into look some cool dice. And tasty. They even smell like creme de lish. <laughs> sure what happened there. That's different. Luminology. Oh, really? that must be. So I, I put it on the bottom and then I mixed it. So I put resin in the first well, the first half of it. And then I poured creme de lish in and I tried mixing it up. So it created a line in there instead. pre-mixed creme de lish inside resin and I must have used uh, a lot less creme de lish so it made it lighter whereas the first iteration of it was darker it's kind of cool rockfish <laughs> on my third cup of coffee now and it's now cold brew instead of hot not disappointed with these gotta clean them up some D4 turned out nice. Yeah, you can definitely smell the creme delish in them. There you have it. Creme delish dice. Not just for food. <laughs> I'm going to send these to creme delish. Stony! Thanks for the follow. Will it attend Betty Daunt? GCD can put that in the description now. Just food. We Will can make dice out of them. Daunt of his product. Corey Ash. If you could form them with some sort of edible stuff, you'd have some pretty cool flavored dice for things. LOL. Meat. Rockfish. Let me take some pictures of it. Meat dice. Cat cam, please. All right, exclamation point EB, early bird. The early bird is done. We are, we are going to roll for the early bird. If you want some send coin or a ticket for my monthly knife giveaway, exclamation point EB. Giveaway, please. Right. Dropping the hammer in. Five, four, three, Corey two, Ash. one. What is the monthly knife giveaway? Will it go to 10 The monthly dog? knife? We Good don't luck. know, Corey. We don't know, man. Stony jumping in there at the last second. Wow. Good job, Stony. We, we got to find out from Todd. I'm going to give him until the end of the week to let me know. Rockfish. Imagine playing D&D &D or Pathfinder and getting angry with how the game is going and just eating the dice. <laughs> right? Super Leo. GG to the winner. Congrats, man. Michael Dr. Fitness. 30 seconds. John Steve said two days ago if you wanted to make cream delish dice so he could send them to people who buy something off of his shop it would be nice. Rockfish. DM would be so confused. Corey Ash. Damn it, Leo, how did you hold on to that? Really, Doc? Leo, where the hell are you, man? Leo! Ten seconds! Oh my god! The worm eateth first thing in the morning. Thirty seconds. Will it over ten better? Thirty minutes in. You guys are getting eaten. Michael Doc Hurdy Fitness. Yes, really. Michael Doc Hurdy Fitness. Worm food. Okay, he'll still get 100 points. Next one will be AFK. It'll be next time I take a break. Exclamation point AFK. Five points. Give points. Yep. 
Camera, please. We have extra dice to make as well. Rockfish. What's the opposite of AFK at keyboard? Good question. So I took a look at the, the redemptions and whatnot, and Landlock and Commander Wolf both have picked up dice bags. So I think I've got four or five left. If you're wanting some Rockfish. custom dice, ha -ha, use, uh, use your sin coins. Yeah. Um, red and black and orange, silver and black. I think we're going to go with uh, Commander Wolf's first because he put his in before Landlock. Fill this, these voids up. And I'm going to have extra resin left over. So we're going to create some more dice. One of the things I did this weekend is I cleaned up the molds a little bit beforehand. Trying to do a little... Corey Ash, don't He's remember if I asked before for, for VIP knives handles all the same. Uh, yep, yep, they will be. You'll have some input though. You're a VIP. You are, Corey. Just think, if you're the only one that provides input on the handle material, you get to pick. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, just uh, either send me a message or post it in a uh, suggestion box, what you would like it to be. I'll, uh, I'll try to get the, the actual announcement out later if you are just wanting to jump on top of it. We'll grab a cup. Grab a cup. Need them, cup them. Corey Ash, I don't need to fully drive that bus, was just curious about the plan. I mean, you wouldn't be, so, wouldn't be upset with some uh, ice knife, right? Be okay with that? What did he say? Black and gray or something silver silver I don't know if I have I don't know if silver is actually going to work well Corey Ash that essay thought everyone seems to love ice knives and I'll have a pairing knife one at some point it would match lol. Yeah, it seems like get it mailed out to you, right? Be nice. Dang it, John. Get your shit mailed out. Be nice. Anybody want coffee? Because I'm having a cup of coffee. Silver. Where's my silver? Silver. I don't know how well the silver, orange, and black are going to go here. Damon, I have an ICEDC already. The way, or not the way, the VIP knife is a sheep's foot. Damon, I would do black with gold. Lorena, hello. Hello, Lorena. Where are you? A non cutter. Good morning. Damon. And probably gold star pins. Corey Ash. Or a Jonesy in color handle black and red. What that? Uh, 
I'm here for a cup and then grab one. We just sunk it. Who the thunk it? This thing here. Rockfish. Question John if I wanted a knife with a hybrid cutting skinning and deboning knife is that something you'd be able to make? Probably. Knife with a hybrid gutting, skinning and deboning. I mean that kind of sounds like an EDC to me. Maybe with a, a steeper tip. Perhaps. Let's see. Work top, please. Something like that. It's got the steeper Rock curve fish. for skinning. It kind of does, but the tip would definitely need to be steeper. And this one here is designed to have an edge on, on the top as well. So it'd come into a point. You're more likely to break your tip if you're getting too aggressive on the, the deboning part. But you'd be able to pull backwards and cut as well as pull forward. Probably make this one a little wider. Rockfish. That would have a decently strong tip. Make a wider blade. If it was a wider blade, it could actually get that curvature a little bit better. Rockfish. Maybe more belly on it better for rocking a long bone. Skinning knife that's used by the local taxidermist is this style. And he, he loves it. Rockfish. And that top part could almost be a guthuk. There's the inspiration behind this. It's just if the if the blade was wider, then you would have more of, of the curve. So this was just a prototype. Rockfish. So yeah, it's doable. Um, I don't think I've ever held or worked with that curved of a knife. This? Yeah, he uh, when he uses it, he pretty much uses it right there. To get in there he says that the damn thing is so sharp that he's got to be careful because it'll uh it'll cut his skin <laughs> he usually comes by once a year to get um a sharpen he usually gets about he's got three of the knives that he's got three of those skinners right and uh he gets about 25 deer 25 rock skin fish you could knife. almost get away with a thumb hole there then Twenty-five, yeah, about twenty-five. Well, this knife here is supposed to have a thumb hole based on the picture, finger hole or whatever. I, I don't know. I, I've the only thing I like about this knife is the handle. I like the I like the higher handle on it, but it's supposed to have a big Rock ass fish. hole right there. I usually process deer with a fillet knife and my sea isola. I mean, you can reach out to the taxidermist if you want and see what he thinks, get his opinion. His, he's a, his, his business is called Primal Arts Taxidermy here in Manhattan. In fact, uh, him and his wife just came by the other day to get a, a chef knife made. Rockfish. So I, got, I got a chef knife. I'm yeah, that high handle would be neat for a dull blade to scrape hide. I mean, here's Willie's knife. He's going with a boner that's similar to that that uh that edc so rockfish it'll have the same thing. well not dull just not razor second edge so it'll have a nice little rockfish dagger point on there so that one was an edc shape yeah that one was like a the carry the field carry kind
EDC for this year. And I say that because it seemed to always change the profile up. It's got a wider blade. My everyday carry. It works great for, for field dressing and, um, you know, field skinning. But that's about it. It's a four inch blade. It'll get it done while, it's out, while you're out in the field, but that's, you know, specialized knife if you're not in the field. Okay, so we're gonna try to backfill the holes on this. I don't know how well that's gonna work. I'm hoping I don't destroy the, uh, the numberings. Guess we'll find out. Guess we will find out together. Rockfish. My buck 110 is what I use for field gutting, but I need to figure out something for processing small game. Skinner that the taxidermist uses. Oh, likes it. He designed it. I uh, I can't take credit for that. that. Was that's what he said he needed to do what he does. So we're going to go with 2.6. If you've got something specific in mind, though, yeah, just send me off a, a sketch. Salmon. You can work it's on different. it. Yeah, that's the... Salmon. That's the meat huh. and taters of a custom knife maker. What's up, Salmon? Get the knife that you need. At least, at least I think so. Come a day where I just say fuck it. You take what I give you and like it. <laughs> if that person's on when we raid out today, we'll raid them. We got a long day. I did my day just started, so we may not get to them. They might be offline by the time we get to them. What I'm saying. Oh, unless you were thinking I was gonna do it now. <laughs> There's a big nope. Salmon. He probably is. Damon. I need some wood. Bet you do, Tim. Bet you do. Damon. At least I didn't say I need a woody. Rockfish. What kind from whom? Will it attend Betty Daunt? Sniping up just two more new snipers for the reveal. I can't. Rockfish. I can't reveal of what? There you go, Temrance. Thank you, my man. My, my, my girl, my girl, my dude, dudette, Jesus, fucking talking is hard. Don't hate me. You know, I was going to use that for my stirring, damn it. Damon, me lady. All them bubbles. They do like bubbles. Will it attend Betty Daunt? Easter egg prize in the Man Can I contest. Rockfish.
Well, this is in there. It'll serve as our base. Corey Ash. I don't know the Kofi VIP list to tag people in Discord. I did put something in suggestion box though. I mean, this resin is not going to do anything to the bubbles that are underneath. But it should fill the ones that are up top. Since we have bubbles in here, Will it attend Betty Daunt? So if you can afford to help a chatter with no toe fat sub feel free to gift them if you have not entered the Mankin Eye contest. Reach down there. The lid on that one. Rockfish. I love the way TDS says man can I LMAO. Really grab two banger. It's a two banger. I need a three. I could have swore I grabbed a three. Did grab a three and a cup. I put it over here. Put it over by the res. I set it down for a second. <laughs> Grabbed a cup. Corey Ash. Mankini. Orange. Black. Silver. I'm not sure how the black and the silver are going to work well together, but. We'll try and find out. From the, the silver are going to fight each other for dominance.
That thing is going to be interesting though, because there's going to be sparkle in each of them. There's going to be a predominant orange in here. Nice little silver sheen. I might do okay. Only one way to find out though, right? going in there so far hey here we go we got some silver and black coming in Sweet. A little extra left over here. Put them in this mold. Plus two sets of dice. I think we're going to have a partial. Uh, I think we've got enough bits and pieces of, of uh, failed dice now that we can actually do a dice mold. I can do it today, but I'm thinking maybe tomorrow. about you guys but we had a fuck ton of wind yesterday I was gonna do some yard work but it was so windy I said nope cut I'm gonna go put this in the pressure pot we should be able to check it out a little bit later. We've got to on the door. First thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. 
Yeah, the Mankini contest is a year-long contest. What you're supposed to do is if somebody speaks in Chan that doesn't have a sub, and you gift them a sub, that gets you some wood for the Kini. At the end of every month, there are certain perks for those that come in first. Like getting to choose the, the knife for the month, which is the monthly knife giveaway. Last month it was a chef knife. There's also a couple of other options for them. We got a couple folks that are neck and neck, so the other options don't make as much sense. Because uh, they get knocked off pretty quick. Hopefully they won't unionize. <laughs> it's like, hey, why don't you take it this month? I'll take it next month. <laughs> Not that I would ever think of something like that. And uh, at the end of the year, we'll tally up the win. And the first four places right now get a prize. Get the prize! Ultimately, it goes to helping support the growth of the channel, which I appreciate. Bringing new folks in, give them opportunities to get some extra coin. Michael Doc Hurdy Fitness. It's also the way that I won last month's knife giveaway and I haven't seen anyone try to use my method of getting tickets just saying. Completely random, man. Completely random. I mean, your method worked for you, but will it work like that every time? I don't know. All right, we got our resin squared away. Dice being Corey made. Dash. I think he was saying gifting a sub gives you enough to buy a ticket. We got you into third place on the Kini contest. Definitely worked out for you, that's for sure, man. Definitely. You Corey see my Ash. trophy, then you know my knife. Sure owns my knife. Knives are not cheap. Man, I'm just dropping shit left and right over here. What the fuck? Camera, please. Dropping stuff left and right. For you new folks, uh, a little bit about myself. I'm a hobbyist. Keeps my stress low, level low. Keeps my morale high. Rockfish. Gravity Mayan always bringing us down. Yeah, gravity, man. I'll tell you what. Oh, Yankee. I'm getting tired just watching you do whatever it is you're doing. I got that I got the exact same wheelbarrow. Kick it. Kick it harder. Harder. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good job. <laughs> Corey Ash. LOL. Rockfish. 
He's getting ready to burn more trash wood lol he's a w. Rockfish. Hard worker. Looking an idea. Worker than me, that's for damn sure. Corey Ash. I could use him nearby to do some of my yard work. He does it for the funsies also. Michael Doc Hurdy Fitness. For really one for temperance. Owns your knife, know the knife you wanted, yes, lol. I think Jinky has a knife in there. Right. With some wood. Kini, it goes. So what time is that uh, eclipse supposed to happen? Corey Ash. That Kini is getting a bit stretched, should fit you soon. It's, it's getting there, man. It's getting there for sure. Corey Ash. 2 p.m., 4.30 p.m. Eastern for us. Grinder, please. Ah. Get to it. Grinder, please. Salmon. Nice. I have every intention of mailing off your knife tomorrow, boy. I think to you, boo. You do a better job checking my damn wall. I 
I'm so focused on the dice bag last week that I completely forgot about those now. I practice what's called freehand stack removal. Means I remove all the material by hand. I don't use any jig. That's all that means. Means my knives are not super perfect like a jig would provide. Yet, every night that I make, I get better at it. And sometimes, hopefully in the not too distant future, I'll make a knife that is indistinguishable. I believe jigs have a place in the shop for mass production, but uh, I don't do mass production, so they don't have a place in my shop right now. Rockfish. Oh, I just remembered I have to pick up a package. Got an order of hops in yesterday. Cascade ITLL be good for some tasty brews I have planned. Yeah, fun guys. Where'd you order them from? What country they coming from, in other words? Rockfish. Amazon has a ton. Corey Ash. One thing I miss about home brewing is the smell of ripping open a pack of fresh hops. OMG, that smell. Rockfish. <laughs> I get the Yakima Chief brand. Okay. I don't know anything about that. Rockfish. Um, They're usually grown by a variety of farms up in the PNW. Rockfish. I love the smell, Corey. One of my favorite parts of brew day. Corey Ash. For sure. Get another belt. Another belt. Another belt. Another belt.
Michael Doc Hurdy Fitness. Well it's starting to get more of clear looking sky here in Pennsylvania and I am smack dab in the middle where we're supposed to have a full eclipse. Oh, that's not good, Doc. Did you get yourself some glasses? We didn't get any glasses, so. I'm gonna look at your son like a dumbass when it happens. Where we're at so far, we're going to take it all the way up. It'll be a, a full flat grind when we're done. Michael Doc Hurdy Fitness. No, I didn't get any glasses and I wasn't planning on getting any anyways. My wife wanted to get some, but the wind was so much this weekend, man. It, it was so windy that uh, I actually took the flight pole down. Oh, my hell right now. I should put it back up. found a uh, a roof tile driveway or well in our walkway I don't think it's ours though
looked at the roof, I couldn't find uh, any holes anywhere. So I put a little mark here. It'll help me uh, line up the two sides because I want to try to do a nice little angle. used to do this all the time, but I haven't done it in a while. Should last long enough for me to get it the grind angle that I want. This one, uh, I'm also going to put some fullers in it. So this will be like a little tiny, uh, a smaller cheese knife form. So when I put fullers, I, do, I don't do it the easy way, I do it the hard way. So I'll put them in long ways there. I'll show you. Most of the time, people do fullers along the top. I don't like doing it that way. So, that's the way I like doing it. Corey Ash. Haven't you seen you do the indents on a blade before most Santokus have them, but I don't really feel like they work incredibly well. Yeah. A lot of the custom knife makers, they just do a fuller along the, the spine. A long ways down the blade edge. I think they do that because that's just the easiest for them, and they've got a mill, so they can they can do that a hell of a lot easier than I can. I've got a Dremel. Rockfish. Canar that that is also a common location for them. So I don't know. I figure Warscroft must have done some kind of product analysis or something for their knives when they do it. Rockfish. And, um, that's how they I have I feel like people add them because mass-produced knives have led people to expect them. Sure. Dixie Kerosene. Morning. Morning, Dixie. Rockfish. Hey, Dixie. Morning, morning, morning.
Dixie Kerosene. Hope you are well. Can't complain. I cannot complain, Dixie. Sun is shining, the wind ain't blowing. I'm in shorts. Yeah, yeah. First day for shorts. Working out. I'll tell you, man, this knife is hard. Hard. Dixie oh, Kerosene. Nice. What kind of angle supports are those, if you don't mind me asking? Um, they're Rockfish. called Arizona braces. I was in shorts a few weeks ago, then the weekend after was when a big winter storm came through. There's a locking one. It means I can't bend my right foot. That one's got a hinge. Helps with the drop foot. Helps kick the foot up. Can I walk? They're uh, very low profile. The ones the VA wanted me to wear went on the outside of my pants and actually acted as my, my shoe. I said not but no. Hell fucking no. So look at me, you wouldn't even know that I wear braces when I wear pants. Oh, then of course I got my balance, but still. That's how I like Dixie it. Kerosene. Nice, I thought they were part of your sock until I saw a little closer. How I like it. Keeps me mobile so I don't complain. The uh, the doctor that originally did my surgery back in 98 said I'd be in a wheelchair in five years. Dixie Kerosene. I think you're late for that then, LOL. Yeah, doctors, man, they don't know shit. Corey Ash. Nope, most don't. Big GCD. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, Michael? Luminology. Morning GCD. Doctors knew anything. They they would not have to send you to a specialist. Well, you need to go see a specialist for that. So they really don't know. Big G C D B R B Look, Luminology even tipped it for you there, G C D.
mighty knight of Illuminology. Dixie Kerosene. Oh, I miss the GCD dice. Dixie Kerosene. Yeah, that's what told me I missed it. LOL. Luminology. OLOL. Oh, I'm sure I can pull them out and put them again. Big GCD. Yeah, I just watched yet. it myself. That was what the BRB was for. Dixie Kerosene. LOL those came out really good. Luminology. What do you think GCD have we found a new market for CD LOL? Big GCD. It LL take a little bit of time of testing to see if they turn green LOL. Dixie Kerosene. I doubt they will at this point, honestly. Big GCD. Do they have a rough texture on them, John? Ah, uh, you know, I don't remember. Give me a second, I'll pull them back out. I'm almost done with this now. Uno momento, por favor. Got our full flat grind. Stubby nail thickness along our blade edge. It'll be a nice looker. You know, I didn't like this knife at first, but I'm, it's starting to grow on me. We'll take a look at these GCD uh, dice, huh? Worktop, please.
Dixie Kerosene. Speaking of dice, did Toy get his? Um, I have not talked to him this weekend, so I don't know. No, they're smooth. I don't have they. They don't feel rough to me. Um, I don't know if my fingers are sensitive enough. Sensitive enough. It it would take the hands of a uh, a hairdresser, somebody with uh, smooth, unrough fingers, to probably tell. But yeah, they feel smooth to me. Mainly because of the resin, so. There's a couple bubbles in there. GCD. Not a whole lot. The spice did cool stuff. Um, I can tell you that the reason it's got this line in there is because that's the bottom. So I actually initially poured resin into the mold and then put the GCD in and mixed it. And then I switched to a mixture of resin and GCD and pour it up the top. So the bottom is actually a thicker than the, the, the top is. Kind of interesting the way that happened. Dixie Kerosene. The mixture is a lot nicer looking than the bottom. Big GCD. Wonder if that will create a balance issue. Big GCD. They look cool. So much of the balance issue. I mean, they're, they're not professional dice. I don't, unless you going for like casino worthy dice. Is it going to really matter? Will it do a tent Betty Daunt? Smell cool too. They do smell like creme delish. Big GCD. They are the only cream delish dice, lol. First to gargle, first to make dice. Dixie kerosene. Whoop, whoop. Now. <laughs> Camera, please. Gargalicious. Big GCD. Right, lol. First. Gotta be first. I want to know where our damn crotch can is. I haven't seen Yankee in a while. Has he been taking some time off? Was he sick or something? Dixie Kerosene. I'm still excited to try making GCD ramen. I've seen Yankee in a bit. Big GCD. If John could just make something like that where you could drop it in milk and make a beverage, then we would be doing great. LOL. Dixie Kerosene. That really wouldn't be that difficult. Corey Ash. Yeah, for sure, some sort of edible binder. Link Hunter. Ah. Need more cam. Be right back. I'm gonna go inside, use the restroom real quick. Big GCD. I'll be back in a minute. Egg white. I wonder if you compress it. If you make like a, a solid mold. Dixie kerosene. And just compress the GCD shit out of it. GCD already has edible binder in it. It would just need a good compression. If you compress the fuck out of it, that might make uh, cubes, little dice cubes for it. All right. That way you don't have to worry about resin in your Dixie mixture. Kerosene. You just got cubes of, of similar to how uh, they made Neko wafers. Or or sugar cubes. Why not, right? So, I'll be right back, exclamation point AFK. 
get you uh, a chance at some sin coin or a ticket. GCD, these are these are the uh, Corey Ash aftershocks. Yeah, press it down so super dense, then cut into cubes. So. Bone conduction. It doesn't doesn't require putting it in the ear. Originally, I got it because I figured I was going to wear hearing protection in the garage. Yeah. Big GCD. Oh, thank for pointing them out. You're back. Dixie Kerosene. I wouldn't even do that compress into small discs like Neko wafers, and each wafer would make approximately 1 8 ounces cup of GCD. Corey Ash. I've used those bone conductor headphones, some of the coolest tech I've tried in a while can hear everything around you. People can't hear what's coming from the headsets, perfect. Dixie Kerosene. I could probably have my husband see about making a mini book press for me that could do that. Rockfish. I want a pear for when I'm hunting a pear that cuts out blocks loud noises. Big GCD. I like that idea would be interesting to see how it worked as far as dissolving in the milk. Dixie Kerosene. I'll do some more research but it should be pretty doable.
Back. Back. Ooh. Monthly alarms were going off. The end of the world. Oh no. Give away, please. Exclamation point AFK if you have not entered. Now's a great time to do so. Here we go. Here we go. Drop the hammer. Will it do it and Betty don't? Good Five, luck all. Four, three, two, one. Probably have to break it up and make it work, so delish. Rock pitch. Why are some of the names not lined up in a column in the participants box there? Typically means they don't have a sub. There's supposed to be a little icon, but the, the program is no longer supported by the maker. So the program's actually dying. Rockfish. Ah. Uh, Corey Corey Ash. Ash. Congrats, yeah. man. Yeah, so... Uh, even though Designing Comic and Sony have stuff hey, now... You got it. You got Will it do it and Betty Dawn? Congrats, man. Alright. Exclamation point AFK is reopened. Feel free to re-enter. Smart go in for ticket. Ticket, ticket, ticket. Ticket. Corey Ash. All right, man, them alarms are going off for a long time. Camera, please. They are going off. Pictures. Picture, picture, pictures. Corey Ash. Any non-snipers in chat that want to get in on the keening? Thinking about it. While I'm thinking about it, might as well knock out some picks. Picks! Pick picks! Pick picks! Otherwise, I'm gonna forget. <sighs> Shit all the time. Not in there. Where the fuck to go? Rockfish. If I had the cash, lol. All good. Hanging out. Being part of the community, that Welsh dragon vapor. That helps a lot. Well, hello, John. Hey, chat. What's up, Welsh? And I can't find it. What the fuck? I uh, I didn't get around to cleaning my garage like I want to. Maybe one of these days I will actually clean the garage. Looking for uh, one of my boxes that had a, a little rabbit. Corey skin. Ash. Yep, that mention of new snipers ISNT meant as pressure of any kind. Glad to just have people hanging out. That s also great support. Use use Temperance's wood as a backdrop. Rockfish. I enjoy the company of the Sirem here. Mm. 
went out to the went out and look at the garage and um i see this out of the corner of my eye worktop please i'm like man that what the fuck is that so naturally i touch it with my my piece of wood first because might be a new type of spider gem spider or some shit i don't know i think my daughter dropped it or something when she came home but just just sitting there in the driveway like that's a big fucking spider i don't know what it goes to welsh dragon vapor lol spider looks like it was glued onto something corporal looks very real absolutely well from a distance up corporal take some pictures here corporal the rubius sapphire body spider is one of the most venomous known to mankind Rockfish. Those dice from the corner of my eye look like cannabis flowers, lol. <laughs> right. Actually got pictures of those on Rockfish. there already. Or hop buds. Corporal. Good morning, John and chat. They're, uh, they're actually a gemstone. It's like a perfect integration of gemstone in there. Corporal. So John is today when you get that oceanfront property. Is it? Nice. Been waiting for it. Been waiting for it, man. Corey Ash. Morning Corp. Big GCD. Those look nice. Well, you're gonna be able to see him on the Kofi here in a second, guys. Corporal. So go take. Your, I mean, go if take a third a of the US is going into the ocean, it has to be triggered by the eclipse, right? You're right. You're absolutely right, dude. When you're right, you're right. So I'm adding it to the Kofi, the pictures to the Kofi. So uh, if you're so inclined, go up there and hit the like button on it. There it is. It's up there. It's up there. <clears throat> While I'm at it, I'll do the gold ones too. <laughs> tweeter. The little tweeter. Like John, we haven't you haven't done tweeting in forever. We need tweetage. Damon, March twenty seventh. They're not as good. The smaller Welsh numbers. Dragon vapor. Time to feed the birds, John. Didn't take. Damon. Almost two weeks. Damn. Has it been that long? Two weeks! Damon. Oh, the humanity. Yes.
That'll be all the uh, adding that I'll do. Okay, one more, one more. I don't have any of these blue ones in there either. Jesus. Blacking on my dice making, guys. Picture taking. Never enough time for anything. Corporal, OMG, it's getting dark here already. Corporal, oh wait, that's a cloud. I think it's only supposed to, I think it's supposed to get dark here about what two o'clock? Welsh dragon vapor. Birds have been fed. Run away in utter fear, for bluesy, the goat milker is here. Two o'clock. Alright. Three new sets of pictures Damon. up there for you on Discord. Around on, then uh, I think. On uh, on the Kofi. Take a closer look. The, the pictures on Kofi are super good. If I was to put it up on Instagram, I don't know. The, the picture quality for Kofi is just really good for some reason. All right, let's work on this block a little bit. Grinder, please. Belts might not be good for steel removal, but it still work fairly well for resin removal. I just want to take the over for uh Welsh Dragon Vapor, Tycorp. Yeah, this was a massive void. We filled that. We filled a lot of the little ones in there. Should be good to go. Now we need to make a handle out of it. Handle it up! Corporal, islands in the stream. Right. Work top, please. 
goat farmer blue easy. Why is it so bumpy? Big GCD. That is what we are. Uh, Corey, you wanted the, the whole thing integrated, right? You didn't want like uh, an extra cool. piece on there somehow? Thank you, Delish. <laughs> Goat Farmer Blue Easy. Hi, Cream. Corey Ash. Correct, just resin. Yeah. Corey what liner Ash. did you decide? Here, just the block. Big GCD. Hey, Blue. Corey Ash. I don't know that I can pick a liner without seeing what it looks like cut. Do you want that top part or do you want the lower the this lower part? I think I can get one of each. Goat Farmer Blue Easy. I know Corey wants a fluorescent green liner. Welsh Dragon Vapor. That is a really nice block. You have whichever side you want. I can get two out of it, it looks like. You see that? Do you see my camera vibrate? That was one of the guns Corey from Fort Ash. Riley going off. The top, I think. Corey Ash. Oh, wow. When my gun, when when, I'm, when my camera just vibrated, that was a Fort Riley Corey cannon. Corey Ash, yes, that one. It was like, I don't know, Fort Riley's what, forty-five minutes from here? No, about 30, 40, 30 to forty-five minutes away from here. Goat farmer, blue easy. Right, you know what a gun is. Corporal, are they shooting at the moon to stop the eclipse? I have no idea. No idea. He's getting Go some farmer blue in easy. probably before the eclipse. Probably. Grinder, please. Work top, please. Wine zing. Thank yous. What you thinking for, wine thing? Corporal, damn it, John, you could have listed the Jeep as an Airbnb for Eclipse viewing. Wine Zing. 1900 C in coin. Ah.
Wine Zing. Fields good man. <laughs> Crack it open, you always find more wo more void. Always, man. I can always. God, I love Burl. Big GCD. Wonder how many more you voids we're going to find. Delish resin. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Rockfish. 1900 coins. Plan. What can go wrong? Corporal, retweet John's latest Twitter and post proof in the correct channel in Discord, and those coins can be yours too. Rockfish. Ah. Wine zing. Chicken. Rockfish. Let us see if I can even get into Twitter. Yeah, if you can like and retweet my Twitters, you get extra send coins for it. Just another way to get some more goodies. Everybody likes goodies. Usually. Grinder, please. I'm gonna send it down and see if we can get to some of that burl that's hiding underneath the surface. As much as I'm willing to finish. I posted to. Huh. 
Worktop, please. Corey Ash. For John S. Typo D tweet. Typos. Did I typo it? I would never misspell something. Not on purpose. My story and I'm sticking to it. Corey Ash. Right. Or maybe I just don't know your words. Some cream delish vast IND dice. Rockfish. All right, done. Probably a typo. Corporal. Now chat when the eclipse comes no one panic everyone behave I will expect a full report from John when I come out of my bunker. Dixie Kerosene. Red Bull attained. Goat Farmer Blue Easy. Tisk tisk we had a total eclipse a few years back no problem. Rockfish. I think I put the screenshot in the right spot lol. Ah. You ready? Take a look at what we got. Looks pretty nice. The bear fan. Coral reef. Looks pretty damn nice. Dixie kerosene. Looks like a nice sound. Yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful handle. Corporal in the stream. Think Dixie that's gonna be but you. I, I swear I know how to type. Corey Ash. Yeah, bear fan a bit like a beautiful blue ocean and some coral or island. Wine zing. Gorgeous. Rockfish. Wood. We're going to put a liner on here, so I need to make sure that these grind lines are fairly decent. Go in the same direction. We can create the illusion of transparency. Amrid. How's it going, John? What knife are you making today? Today I am making a boner. <laughs> I 
At least the handle of the boner. How you doing, Emrid? How the hell are you? For lunch today, I've got uh, two choices. I can either do some sold pork and rice, which is what I kind of had for breakfast, but I didn't really want to finish it. Wasn't that tasty? I don't know why. Or some uh, buttered chicken and rice. Kind of leaning towards the Indian food. My wife made it last night. Damon, if it wasn't that tasty, I wouldn't eat it again. Damon, well, it Indian works for weight loss. Is a hell yes for me. So you know, the less you eat, Corey the Ash. more you the more you lose, right? Same. <laughs> so means I w I wouldn't probably eat all of it. Whereas the buttered chicken, I'm a nom that shit down like nobody's business. I do like my Indian food. You know, when I was when I was younger, when you know, I was like twenty three, three years ago, I did not like Indian food. Didn't like it. Of course I never really had it either. Kinda grew on me. What's up, Bull Fairy? We uh Corey Ash. We pulled your dice this morning. I really like Indian for a lot of my life now. I love it. And they had some bubbles on the last four up at the top, which always seems to be a problem for me. So I went ahead and put some more resin in there to take care of the biggest of the bubbles and put it in the pressure pot. So your dice should be done tomorrow. Aside from the bubbles on the top, they look pretty damn good. I've done the best I can with your dice. Used every single gem you sent except one because it escaped. It escaped. It's on the floor somewhere. Wool fairy. They will be beautiful. Somewhere on the floor, there's a glue gem. <laughs> Dixie kerosene. Ah. Someday you will find it with a missing boner. Hey. Someday. All right, what, uh, what, what choices are you wanting to look at, Corey? What colors? Give me some colors. I figure black is one of them. Corey Ash. White and black for sure. That's the black. Makes the blue darker. Corey Ash. Damn that is pretty. About time to pull out some more alcohol, I think. Yeah. There's the white. And the white, of course, makes it lighter.
suppose I can get it for you. So dark blue or light blue, I guess is the question. The bear fan. The contrast difference is amazing. Corey Ash. Right? Oh yeah, the liner. The liner comes to play, man. Amrid. I like the dog. Corey Ash. It is bear fan that s why I couldn't pick a liner until seeing it cut. No worries, man. No worries at all. Corey Ash. Black though, I love the richer blue. No worries at all. Enjoy the lurk. Thank you for the lurk. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm uh, I'm actually pleased that we were able to fill that one void, man. That one void, Jesus. It did not want to be filled. You're fighting me, man. Fought with it all weekend. Finally got it in the end, though. Our voids completely sealed. Nah, not all of them, not yet. Corporal, or just a bubble that the resin couldn't break. Now, when it comes to burls, they always there's always voids. Always. Sometimes there's just voids that resin can't get into because it's blocked in by the wood. And that's what happened. Well, that's what's that's what happened right here. And that void right there. It was blocked in by wood until we cut it open. This is the other side. So we'll have to fill that. And these ones back here. Corporal. Okay, so you just have to deal with them as you find it. Corey Ash. Mm -hmm. But I love that you have resin going through the wood as well as opposed to just a solid hunk of wood. Oh yeah.
that's uh that's the reason i stabilize it i stabilize it first to fill in the little holes and to give it some more substance because burl is very brittle i still have to be super careful even when i'm doing this until i can get it on the knife it could break And even on the knife, it could break. It's like pine cone, man. Pine cone looks pretty as fuck inside resin, but it's still brittle. It's not a it's not a great handle material if you're wanting the strength. If you're wanting to look good, it looks great. And as long as you take care of your your knives and whatnot, they shouldn't break on you. You drop them off a cliff or. An island Warring or ash. something? There's Are always you saying a this will be a usable knife? LOL. No, it'd be usable. Just not as durable a handle material as everything else. The liner will actually give the burl a little bit more durability than anything. Liners aren't typically used for anything, but when it comes to burl, it gives it a little bit more durability. Just, just don't like uh, use the handle. Well, kind of like, kind of like my knife. Handle to pound nails right? sticking out of your deck. So, noted. I have honeycomb, right? But I use it as a hammer. So because I use it as a hammer, the cells drop their resin. So you know, if you're looking for for a strength, a handle to take abuse. Then the strongest one is my Carta that I know about. Corey Ash. Or Bone. I don't use my knives as anything other than knives. Wood's a good one, depending on the type of wood that you use. Like a nice walnut or an oak, a nice hardwood. The glue that I use on the liner material, it's called void filler. It's not really, I guess, supposed to be used the way I use it. It's designed to fill in voids. That's that's the actual usage between behind the glue that I use. But that shit is so damn strong and clear that I like using it as as the material I use to attach my liner material. It's super durable. Definitely way more expensive than what I should be using it for. But you know me, man. I like to over-engineer my shit. So a little extra expense doesn't, doesn't mean nothing to me when it comes to the strength and durability of the product. I should try coloring it. I wonder if I can add color to it. It dries so fast. I don't know if I want to try that though. Corporal, unless you are a drill press, then it's just what color your casing is. Blacksmith Pop. Hello, everyone. What's up, Pops? And the hell are you? Will it do it and Betty don't? Yet I have some of my great grandfather's butcher knives that are still good handles are oak with brass rivets. Blacksmith Pop. I'm good thanks for the shout out. 
Pops, when do you actually stream? I don't think I have ever been able to catch one of your streams. Need to find time, man. Time is like blacksmith pop. If I get to stream, it is usually in the evening or on set. I can try to post something on your Discord if you want next time. Sure, absolutely. That's what it's there for. Not not as my personal reminder, but you know, as a Please, everybody, I'd be streaming. Type deal. Now right, we're going to put this handle together. Put this handle together, and I'm going to go make me a plate. Get another bottle of alcohol out of the house if I can remember to do that. Sizable void right there that I'm gonna squeeze in a, a good chunk of my material in. I'm going to try to mail your dice out tomorrow, Wolf Fairy. If I can make the deadline in the morning. Big GCD. You talking to me? Big GCD. LOL. Absolutely. Especially if your name's Little Fairy. Twice on Sunday. Goat Farmer Blue Easy. So you sent the knives out right? Tuesday Blue? Is it Tuesday? If it's Tuesday, then yes. If it's not Tuesday. Nitro in my blood. How's the morning going? What's up, Nitro? So far, so good. Go Farmer Blue Easy. It is. Big GCD. Sorry, I am video editing, so you are a little low, so I can hear what I am doing. Go Farmer Blue Easy. Patrol me. In some places. What about other places? I care about my place. When it comes to Tuesday mail day. Places are great for them. 
Dixie kerosene. Does that mean it's already my birthday in some places? LOL. Exactly what that means. Set that off to the side. Tomorrow, tomorrow. So probably won't be on till what? About noon tomorrow? 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, something like that? Typical Tuesday. Corporate. Some, if there is a tomorrow. The mail. There's not going to be a tomorrow. Oh, man. Now you tell me? Corporal, once the sun goes out, who knows if it will come back on? They're just changing a light bulb. It'll be all right. Sun's actually a grow lamp. Michael Doc Hurdy Fitness. Cream, I did tag you as well as Steve on Friday in the Twitch clip section of Chef Steve, so Discord with him showing off the cream delish banana bread pudding, so you'll be able to get a photo of it from the video. Sounds pretty tasty. Big GCD. Thank you very much. Corporal, that sounds like a big help, Michael Doughty. You should get affiliation for just helping. Good, yeah. Everybody gets affiliate except John. My wife goes into streaming. He's going to give her affiliate and she doesn't even have to use creme de lisse. Just so he can troll me. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Like, no, no, John, you can't use that creme de lisse. That's for your wife. Michael yeah. Doc Hurdy Fitness. No problem, Cream. Corporal. Hashtag Lisa for affiliate. When you hear the sirens or anti-aircraft guns, you must...
Oh, me and Raided! Defend! Defend the channel! Bring out the knives! Big G All the knives! I have already What's taken up, the liberty Andrew? of making her account and approving it since you said yesterday she was going to start streaming again. Cool. I appreciate hey, that. Hey, Andrew. Pam. Appreciate that, man. Dick. Love Andrew you, Bedard. Nothing Andrew much. Andrew Bedard. Come Go in. Farmer Blue Easy. With the rain! Everyone Thanks, show Andrew. the knives. Appreciate it, man. Came in just in time for me to go take a break. Big GC. Just in time. Hey, Andrew. Raid and break. I'm gonna be one of. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be that guy. Come in on a raid. What the hell? Camera, please. But I do appreciate the raid. Oh, looks like Dylan's on a on a break. Man, he's got one hell of a setup back there. A lot of cameras. Andrew Bedard. Anytime. What about Goat Farmer Blue Easy. He rides a DAF. Corey Ash. A big rig driver that streams from his rig. Ah. Be back here in a few minutes. Goat Farmer go Blue inside, Easy. Fix me a plate. Why? When I get back. Okay, let me open up some lunch. Plate of food. Otherwise, I'm gonna make you hungry. I'm bringing out the Indian food today. The Indian food! Corporal, was that Tucker Dylan? I shall return.
back in range. Exclamation point AFK. Give away, please. Give away, please. Brave What's up, Blue Beanery. Hey, good morning, John. Goat Farmer Blue Easy. Listen to me today. U A F K U. Will it away, attend please. Betty Daunt? Good luck. There it is. Here we go. Drop an hammer in. Five, four, three, two. Goat Farmer one. Blue Easy. Hi, Brave Blue Beanery. Some A F K. Woot woot. Goat Farmer Blue Easy. And the winner is. The Darkest Night. Or Wolf. Corporal Leo. Oh, the humanity. Willie. Willie. Goat Farmer guess, Blue guess Easy. Guess what, Willie? Me because I got to see John today. 30 seconds, Willie. Willie. Attend, Betty Betty Dawn. Dawn. I'm here. Three. Goat Farmer Blue Easy. Your name is so big, the T doesn't even fit. You got it! You got the last golden ticket! The kids found the last easy. I agree, it's rigged. Go, Willie. Super Wolf Leo. Oh, thank God I didn't win since I got timed out. <laughs> hey, it happens. Exclamation point lunch is now open. Betty Dawn. Feel free to enter. Thanks. Camera, please. Super Wolf Leo. So it says I'm still subbed, but my sub ends today, but I got timed out cause I wasn't subbed, LOL. Yeah. I got some garlic naan. And let me tell you, man, that garlic naan. Work top, please. Work top, please. Jesus. Worktop, please. This attack is driving me up a wall today. My wife's version of butter Kim chicken. Kim do. OMG, I'm eating garlic naan too. It's super good. It's not super spicy though. I would have, I would have liked the more spice. She keeps trying to up the spice, but. Super Wolf Leo, my wife used to make non pizzas. Doesn't quite get. Run row. Corporal. You broke us. Michael Doc Hurdy Fitness. Thanks for your 5K tokens, Leo. LOL. Corporal. Calm. Super Wolf Leo. Okay, glad.